from Shalom Acres. Today I want to give you a quick update. It's a nice beautiful warm day out and I want to take the opportunity to go ahead and set up a few swarm boxes for bees. So that's something that we're going to talk about today and right here is our swarm box. I want to talk about the swarm box because when you look at it you'll see it's actually made out of cedar and that's the same way all of our bee boxes are 100% made out of cedar also. The reason why we use cedar is because we don't have to paint them, stain them, anything like that. Um, that could potentially, uh, we always worry about chemicals and those types of things in our food. Uh, so that's one of the pieces why we went with cedar. Had several conversations with folks saying that that would actually take away from the, uh, and deter the bees from coming in to your boxes. Um, and it would actually make your honey a little bit different taste. Uh, I don't, I don't, I've actually talked with three other beekeepers that use cedar, 100% cedar, just the way we do, and there's been no problem they've seen with their, uh, with their flavor of their honey, color of their honey, anything like that. So we're not worried, and we haven't seen any problems here on our homestead either. So today, the swarm box we're going to talk about is a simple uh, five-frame device. I'm going to take the top off right now. So it's five frames. So these five frames are five frames that have a wax foundation. So these frames are actually just a pine, and then they've got two bobby pins that hold them in. They're nine and a nine and an eighth inches uh, from top to bottom, um, and that's one of your critical measurements that you're going to need when you make your box. So when you make your box, you're going to want to make sure your box is just over that nine and an eighth inches. So our entrance hole is and plus it also simulates a beehive where it actually you come in low and uh, and then that allows you to come up to the actual comb. So our, our box again, one other thing that you'll see in the box, back here in this corner, there's actually a little piece of burlap. And that burlap is so critical um, for us because it's a material that, uh, that's natural. And the other part is this is where we put our lemongrass oil on. Lemongrass oil is an attractant that helps, bee, that, uh, helps uh, give bees that scent that they're looking for. I'm not sure if it's for nectar or pollen, but that definitely gives them the opportunity to, uh, to smell something and come into your box. So they come into your box at the bottom right. They have to come through the whole box all the way through, follow my finger, and then all the way back to get to your burlap. So what that allows them to do is they're going to be touching your frames, touching, touching the wax, and they're going to think, wow, this is a pretty nice it's a pretty nice little area. So if you get a scout bee that's coming, that's looking for a new home when they swarm, which is what this is for, a swarm box, it'll actually give you the opportunity to catch them. You can see we've got a couple bees that are actually flying around right now. Um, it's amazing, but we had a little bit of lemongrass on this box last year. And like I said, today's a nice sunny day, so the bees are out looking for stuff and they're actually coming in to the box as we speak. So I'll give a few measurements of the box. So the overall height of the box is 11 and 3 quarter. The overall width of it is 20 and an eighth. Now when you come from the inside dimension, it's actually 18 and a quarter. And then it is seven and three quarter as far as the actual total depth of the box. The one piece that you'll see the actual depth of this box is ten and three quarter inches. What I chose to do here is to make the box weatherproof or as weatherproof as it possibly can be because rain's going to go ahead and hit it from potentially any side. So what I decided to do was actually take the bottom box. So I actually built this, 
I built this whole frame first, the outer box, and then I went ahead and attached the underneath side. So that allows for the best weather protection of the box. Then you'll also see for the roof, same exact concept, except for in this particular case, we actually built an overlap. The overlap is almost two inches. And then on the sides, it ends up being just over or just around three quarters of an inch. And that again protects your frames inside and then hopefully it'll be protecting your bees if you get an opportunity for a swarm to come in. So this is, this is our box. We've got several of them set out here on the homestead and also we have some friends that allow us to set these up. And last year we were able to catch two different uh, colonies this way and uh, we're looking forward to catching more this year. So if you got any other questions, please feel free to write us. Thanks for watching. Shalom.